This item is from our full Steam Ahead program. We have put together Steam Kits, toys and activities that build skills in the areas of science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. These are educational and fun items that will engage adults and children alike. We hope that these deliver positive, hands-on learning experiences that will provide opportunities for discovery and challenges. You can check these items out from any library branch and take them home with you. For more information or to place a hold, visit www.kawarthalakeslibrary.ca slash full steam ahead. This is the Makey Makey, one of the items in our Full Steam Ahead program. The Makey Makey is a really, really cool kit, and we wanted to show you how it works because it does look a little overwhelming, as you can see from the cords here. So in this kit, you will find this little box with all the Makey Makey items in it, and you'll also find an instruction sheet. At the bottom of the instruction sheet, you'll notice too, there are a few different links that will really help you get this set up. The best website is makeymakey.com. It's got uh, tutorials, resources, lots of different stuff. So that would be a fantastic resource to check out once you're, when you're getting started with the Makey Makey. So here's how it works. Essentially, the Makey Makey is a little keyboard, just like a game controller. You attach it to your computer and instead of pressing keys or the arrow buttons, for example, you would actually press different household items um, and that will actually conduct energy to make the keys work on the computer. So really complicated process, but really, really cool. First, you need to take the red USB cord, plug the one end into your laptop and the other end into the back of the Makey Makey board. So let's plug this into the laptop and the other end goes into the very top, you can see here, of the Makey Makey board. Quick tip, make sure the sound is on on your computer or um, this one example that I'll show you, you won't actually be able to hear. So the next items you'll find in the kit are these alligator clips. There's lots of different colors and they're little clips at the end that open and close. These are the clips that you'll clip one end to the keyboard and the other end to something else. So I've attached a few items here. Essentially you need to find items that are conductors and those could be lots of different things. I'll give you one hint. On the, the uh, box here, you can see a banana that does indeed work as a conductor. So you could attach one end of your alligator clip to a banana, the other end to your game controller. So let's try it out. I have attached one end of the orange clip to the top arrow here. And if you follow the orange cord, I've attached the other end to the Play-Doh. So we'll see if that works. The yellow one, I've attached one end to the left key on the controller. And again, let's follow the yellow cord. I've attached the other end to a wire kitchen sponge. The red keyboard, or sorry, the red alligator clip, I've attached one end to the bottom arrow. And again, follow the cord and I've attached the other end to the box. Do we think that's gonna conduct energy? Let's see. And finally, the light green, I've attached to the right arrow and the other end is on this pair of scissors. There's also clips you can attach for the, the space bar and the click button. Now that would literally mean that instead of pressing the space bar on your computer, you can press whatever's attached to your space bar. Our gray one isn't attached to anything right now. And that would actually um, tell the computer that you're pressing the space bar, even though you're really not. So let's give it a try. I have got a piano app open on my computer. There are lots of other games. This is just one example. This can be found on the Makey Makey website. Again, makeymakey.com. Okay, so back to my, my uh, game controller. 
Another tip that might help you understand better what um, item belongs to which um, section on the control board would be to set it up the same way. So I could turn this around and I would set up, ooh. it is working, that's good. And I would set up so that my orange, that's my plate, I'll put that as my top arrow. Yellow is my um, kitchen sponge, that's my left arrow. It just might help you place it better, okay? So you can set that up at home if you'd like. So I've got my controls all set up. I've got the piano open on my computer. Let's give it a try. I'm going to touch the Play-Doh. Nothing's happening. What about this? That did not get attached, so let's attach that. The clips just open and they can attach to anything, okay? Nothing worked. Now I will show you why. The most important part of your controller is this bottom panel. If you look really closely, it says Earth. Now, something always needs to be attached to that to make any of the other buttons work. So I'm going to use my white alligator clip here. And you can attach to any one of these little prongs. So I'll attach one end there. And I'm actually gonna hold the other end. Now I'm making sure that I'm not holding the plastic part, I'm actually holding the clip. Now you don't need to clip it on yourself, holding it will work. So I'm holding it, one end's attached to me, one end is attached to Earth on my game controller. Let's give this a try now. Let's touch the Play-Doh. And it worked. I make attach this. So on my piano app, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm touching the Play-Doh. So that means that the up arrow is actually getting pressed on my keyboard here, even though I'm not, I'm touching it on the other controller. So let's go back here again. I can see that my Play-Doh works, my kitchen sponge works, my box does not. It is not a conductor. What about these scissors? They absolutely are. But look what happens. The second I let go of this white one, nothing else is going to work. So that's something to keep in mind, okay? Always keep the white attached to you or something else. Doesn't work that time. So the great thing about Makey Makey is that you can experiment with different items, different games. There are tons of different ways to um, become more familiar with it on the website. Lots more different um, activities that I'm not showing you here. I've just shown you the basic piano one. So tips again. First, make sure that the red cable is plugged into your computer on one end and into the game controller on the other. Make sure the sound is turned on on your computer, especially if you're gonna do the piano app or another one that requires sound. And finally, making sure that one of the alligator clips is always attached to earth, one of those things along the bottom, and the other end is attached to you. Otherwise, nothing else will work, okay? So that is the Makey Makey. We hope you enjoy this and check it out from our full Steam Ahead program. Quick reminder too, we do not actually have the computers going home with you. So in your kit, you'll notice you get the Makey Makey. You will need to supply the computer for it though, okay? All right, so you can check this out from our website, kawarthalakeslibrary.ca slash full steam ahead. And uh, that's how you'll get the Makey Makey along with tons of other activities from our full steam ahead program. Thanks for watching.